Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Wednesday, the 10th of April. It's around quarter to one in the afternoon, one o'clock maybe. We are at high tide, 9.5 metre high tide. Same height as yesterday's high tide, but today doesn't have the same wind that yesterday's had. I didn't film yesterday's high tide, as you know, but I did see some videos on it and in one of the videos, look, that life out there is just trash. The waves came over so much, look. They knocked it off there and they broke it. That was yesterday's high tide that did that. So not only did the wave come over there, it was strong enough to do that. And it came all the way up there because the video I watched the waves were just coming all the way to this little wall here and up there and they were entering on the road a little bit like bits of the foam and if we look here we can see look the seaweed there that got blown over or washed over by yesterday's high tide so the video that I saw there were little bits of water just coming over making it to the tram tracks but nothing that would stop the traffic or the trams it was just minimal so the sea defences here this little wall here it did its job the job that it was designed to do very very well indeed and it kept the prom safe and unflooded because I do think if we would have had the old sea wall when yesterday's high tide was judging by the videos I saw trams would have been closed and prom would have been closed and things would have like not ended well because the water would have probably made it to the other side of the road and to the buildings possibly I mean if you're interested in looking just google or search on youtube for yesterday's high tide fairly sure a ton of people would have filmed it because from the vids I saw it looked epic so yeah I think that if all these de defences I mean we've got this little wall here and that's what they're for that, obviously to uh, stop the waves coming over yeah I do think we would have had a few damp properties on the other side because yesterday's high tide was a good end and I'm sad that I didn't get to film it and when I came down to film today's I knew it wouldn't be like yesterday's because we didn't have the wind it's still one of the biggest tides of the year though nine and a half meters I think and it's a bit on the windy side look you can see the big spoons bending a bit but yeah we have got nothing blowing over it is quite windy today as well I do have my back mostly to the wind it's sort of blowing towards my back and a northwesterly direction so if I point the camera that way at that angle that's kind of the angle the wind's blowing now it's blowing directly against the back of the camera so hopefully it won't affect the video so much because it's not blowing into my microphone sponge but yeah yesterday the waves came all the way over here but not so today I mean the wind is getting up a bit now but as the wind gets up a bit more the sea will be receding so I think today probably will be fine I mean it was fine yesterday it's built with that in mind isn't it waves coming over it's completely nuts but if you look at the from the way it is here we've got the steps there leading down here we've got the wonderful comedy carpet here and the tower headland area as it's called we've got the tower here but when you think about it the original promenade railings will probably around here where I am now 
and the original original promenade before the Basel Face rock wall was put in with the original old one the promenade itself was probably where these stones are if you see those really old pictures of Blackpool Prom and I'm talking the really really old ones before even the tram tracks were built in some of them in fact the really oldest promenade could have been on the other side of the tram tracks I'm quite bad at measuring perspectives in my head looking at old photographs but I do think that at some point the prom would have been around here the sea would have come all the way up to here But if we think about how the sea came in, I remember having a talk once, just got talking to some old guy at a car boot sale and we were randomly talking about the tides and the sea and he said to me that when he was a little boy, his granddad told him that when he was little, so I am going back a long, long time now, that the sea would come all the way in to where the FO Park is. And I'm like I said, I'm talk going back ages because this conversation I'm referring to now with me and this old guy probably happened about 30 years ago and this was an old dude in his 70s maybe and he was telling me about a conversation he had when he was a little boy so that could be about 90 odd years ago now or more so yeah, I'm going back a long way now but yeah, he said his granddad told him that when he was a little kid the sea would come all the way to where the whole park is but it, only it wasn't a park it was a farm and there's pretty much no houses there and even the George weren't there at some point it was just a lane that had like grassy dunes on either side and the sea pretty much came all the way in but we know that a lot of Blackpool is actually built on sand because when we swatched the Blackpool Central development which I filmed when they were digging out all the Bonnie Street car park area that's pretty much all built on sand if you watched any of those videos once they dug down it was just literally sand and I know when they built the Palatine Sports Centre they had problems with the water table and how porous it was and the composition of earth and sand and stuff what they were building on so yeah we're, we're pretty much built on sand for the most part of Blackpool probably PT Bog the further we go eastwards but for the most part yeah we're built on sand anyway seeing guys have actually left the actual prom now <coughs> excuse me <coughs> didn't mean to do that seeing that i've left the actual prom now i am going to end this video as we walk up church street a bit but yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this little walk and chat and vlog with me if you did enjoy it as usual please just think about just poking that like button before you go and even think about poking that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed yeah, and I shall see you all very soon in the next video goodbye